Hey everyone, Mike here. I um, can't tell you how many times as a uh, graphic artist uh, where I would be cutting out a piece of material, uh, paper, plastic, whatever, and I would be using a, um, a straight edge, pretty much just like this one here, an aluminum straight edge and a razor knife. Now, when you use tools like this, you're very susceptible to doing some very uh, dangerous things with these two tools combined. I've cut my fingers I don't know how many times uh, until I came up with this um, very easy to put together um, safety cutting uh, straight edge. And all it is is a piece of half inch by half inch by 1 16th inch aluminum that I've cut the size with, um, with this small uh, miter box. It's a hybrid, uh, hobby miter box. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to laminate a piece of carpet tape, heavy duty carpet tape, to the um, aluminum, and then we're going to carpet tape this uh, this drawer liner to the bottom of the straight edge to keep it from from slipping around. And when this uh, when the uh, aluminum angle is on the uh, alum aluminum uh, yardstick, you won't have to worry about coming across and slipping and hitting your fingers because the the uh, aluminum angle will protect your fingers from getting cut. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We'll roll out a piece of uh, this carpet tape and pretty much just lay the aluminum right down on it. You don't have to worry about hitting it exact because you can easily trim it up. Now we do want to we do want to be careful um, cutting because we don't we're not cutting with the the safety yet. And one of the things you might want to do is take something and push down on that aluminum to, so that the carpet tape gets a good grip. Okay, so let's trim the ends. And now Trim it by the length. <clears throat> Flip it around and cut the other side. Set this aside and see if we can't save it for another project later. Now what we want to do is run your fingers along this again to uh, make sure that the tape is pressed down on that piece of aluminum. All right, now what we're going to want to do is actually we want to start at the other end and get it started. And we're going to line it up to the hash marks at the bottom of the hash mark on your inch increments. Lay it down, lock it in, then grab your backing and run it the rest of the way off. And sometimes that'll happen. So you'll have to pull it off the other side too, which is not a problem. Flip it over. Again, line up those hash marks and lower the piece of angle down on your aluminum yardstick and then run something across the uh, aluminum angle to push that carpet tape down. And you'll see that that's going to be a very sturdy, uh, actually it even becomes more rigid. Uh, but the problem is now you still, while you're making your cut on your uh, material, whatever it is you're wanting to cut, you, cut, you could actually um, accidentally slip the uh, straight edge and then you have a poor cut on whatever uh, substrate it is that you're cutting. So now what we want to do is take this piece of um, drawer liner and run it face up on the smooth side and again take some carpet tape and we'll lay the carpet tape down on just like that and 
There we go. We'll use scissors this time. Okay. And what we could do is use these uh, putty squeegees that you would use on like body putty. Run that down like so. Okay, now it's time to put our straight edge to use. You, are, you will have to be careful uh, because it will be slipping on you a little bit here because we don't have uh, the um, non-skid part of this uh, straight edge installed yet. So let's go ahead and run this down like this. Okay. There we go. And let's run this turn it around. And line it back up again here. What you're going to want to do is have just a little bit um, of the rubber to the inside of the straight edge, pulling the straight edge over the edge actually of that um, rubber liner so that um, it doesn't overlap on both on each side. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and line this up here and make our cut. Follow it down with your hand. Keep it lined up. It's going to slip on you, so realign it before you continue your cut. Take it all the way through. Okay, there's that. Now what we're going to want to do is cut it to length. So again, we'll just kind of overlap this side, taking it to the taken a little bit over to the edge, over the edge, and then we'll cut this end off here. <clears throat> Flip the uh, straight edge over on its side. Take and peel your double stick backing tape off, if you can get to it. There we go. And then run this uh, take the tape. I'm doing it backwards here. Take this and run it square on. And as you run, as you hold it um, to the edge, edge to edge, you can start peeling the double stick tape down, follow it down like so. And get it all lined up. Put it down. And if you over if you've overlapped a little bit, all you got to do is just take your knife and run it along the edge there. Now you've got yourself a nice straight edge that has a gripping back to it, and you will not cut off your fingers when you're trying to cut off the, um, the substrate that you're cutting. Very easy piece to make. Uh, makes your cutting uh, chores very simple. Got a lot more of these uh, easy tips coming along and uh, hope that you share this with your friends so that they don't cut their fingers off too. This is Mike. I will see you on the next video.